Welcome to today's video where I'm going to share a little bit of my journey and my experience getting started with intermittent fasting. Now, when I started intermittent fasting back in about 2018 or 2019, I didn't truly understand a clean fast versus a dirty fast or zero calories or how my body actually released insulin. In fact, I didn't know anything about how any of that worked, even though my mom was diagnosed with diabetes. I just never really spent time with my brain figuring out how a lot of that worked. So I like to say I was doing it wrong, but again, that's doing it wrong for me. I like to say there's no right or wrong with intermittent fasting. You have to figure out what works for you and you have to know what your goals are. So when I got really committed in January of 2022, things shifted and my body really began to respond and talk to me when I started focusing on clean fasting. Most of my frustrating symptoms disappeared. Joint pain and inflammation, that afternoon sinker that sometimes I would feel after meals, brain fog, sleep issues, and weird sensations I would feel in my body after some meals and some specific types of food. Here's what took the longest and I share this so that you won't get discouraged if the same thing is true for you. It was about 35 days before I consistently registered a six pound weight loss on the scale. And it was about that long for my muffin top to slowly shrink. And my personal trophy, getting back in my skinny white shorts for summer without feeling like a sausage. So I don't know what your personal goals are or what your trophy is. For me, it was these shorts to begin with. And I'll share more of my journey and experiences each week so that you have some insight and hopefully some encouragement so that if you're struggling in certain areas or succeeding in other areas where I didn't, you'll feel empowered by that. Now, again, I don't know what your personal goals are, but I do know that so many things are possible and have been experienced not only by myself, but others. And I want you to remember that time is your best friend, time. Most of us didn't get here overnight, okay? We didn't end up in the situation that brought us into our intermittent fasting journey overnight. And so our successes and wins with intermittent fasting may not happen overnight either. And at the same time, they might. So I wanna set up realistic expectations for you. My goal personally on a daily basis is a minimum of 16 and eight, a 16 hour fasting window and eight hour eating window. And as you'll see by my stats that I share below for my first month, I did not make that goal every day. In fact, I missed it quite a few times. Again, no right or wrong, no messing up. I never fell below my 12 hour fasting window and I never had an eating window over 11. My sweet spot is 18 and six. And the reality of it is sometimes that just doesn't work. I've shared that already. You know, I'm out and about going to networking breakfasts, going to networking events, happy hour, social events, um, lunches, all that type thing. And so my goal is to make a plan each week for my windows of eating and my windows of fasting based on what's happening that I can plan for, that I can look ahead in the calendar and absolutely plan for. I also make a meal plan. I go through usually on Sundays and plan out what I'm going to eat for the most part, each dinner that I'm going to make, what's going to be leftovers, how it's going to work, how it's all going to flow together. Because with a plan, I find that all of it is more likely to happen. And without one, I'm at greater risk for getting derailed. With a plan, I can more easily course correct and make adjustments, especially if last minute things come up. Without a plan, I'm just, you know, batting around hit or miss. If you have any questions or comments or experiences to share, please do leave those below. I'm an open book and I would love to share all my experiences and any answers that I have to questions that you may have.